smoke screen. Gordon was feeling stuffed up. It's the coal, Gordon, explained this fireman. It's clung up your tube something awful. I will have to make do with it, for there's nothing else. Why not have a good sneeze, Gordon, suggested Henry, thinking of the time when he had punished some boys for dropping stones on him. That will clear your tubes. Certainly not, replied Gordon with dignity. The fat controller wouldn't approve. He didn't like your sneeze, I seem to remember. Next day, Gordon was nervous as he backed onto the express. At least I shan't slip today, he thought, but I suppose they'll laugh at me again if I don't keep time. He needn't have worried. By the time he reached the junction, he was running nicely, and as he approached Edward Station, Gordon's fireman began to make up the fire. Let's get a good run up the hill while you've steam to do it, he said. I don't trust this slow-grade coal. At the station, a party of wedding guests, all in their best clothes, were standing on the platform. As Gordon swooshed through, running hard for the hill, smoke from the newly made fire streamed from his funnel. It disappeared into the distance and left a black smoke screen settling over the station. It covered everything, wedding guests and all, in a coat of soot and smuts. Waves to Gordon became shaking fists and the wedding party hurried angrily to the station master's office. At the end of the line, an inspector came to see Gordon. His message from the fat controller was short, but not sweet. It's not fair, Gordon complained to Boko. How could I help that smoke? It's not my fault the cold's dirty. Never mind, said Boko encouragingly. Where would I be if I got upset every time someone called me smelly? Anyhow, it's good for the garden, my driver says. But not for new clothes, muttered Gordon. Gordon was extra careful on the way home, but it wasn't his lucky day. The fat controller had broken a journey to the other railway to apologize to the people at Edward Station. He had done his best and was waiting for another train when Gordon came by. As the express thundered through, a cloud of something flew from it and landed on the fat controller's new top hat. When Gordon reached the big station, there was another message waiting for him. The fat controller says, announced the inspector, that Gordon blew ashes on his top hat as he passed Edward Station. Gordon was horrified. Whish! he exclaimed indignantly. I did not. I was being extra careful. I'm sure the fat controller can't be right, put in Gordon's fireman. I can't help it, said the inspector. That's what he says, so there it is. He will speak to Gordon when he gets home. Gordon went sadly back to the shed.